So at the moment I am creating a game that's using the Box2D engine uh, to power the physics. Uh, because the game is um, going to require you know, quite complex kind of Box2D worlds, um, I needed a way to visually draw all the shapes and uh, joints and things like that um, because coding that by hand would simply just be too complicated and take far too long. Um, so I had a look what was currently um, available on the market and uh, there's a few uh, editors out there. The only thing I found was um, some of them were very uh, I guess a bit clunky uh, and I didn't find the user interface that intuitive. I also um, found some of them were not free um, so I thought well you know why not create uh, my own uh, Box 2D editor tool, and so that's what I've basically done here. Um, it's just a prototype at the moment. Took about uh, about a week so far. Um, it's not complete. I've just been adding features as I need them. So I'm showing you this video just to kind of show what I've made so far, but also to see if anyone would be interested in me um, sort of polishing this tool up more, adding all the features. Um, also just you know uh, make it look a little bit nicer um, yeah and just generally gauge response to that so um, I'll currently show you how it works um, I've been trying to model a little bit on how illustrator um, tools work just because I quite like that workflow so let's go and create a floor I'm going to use a rectangle uh, tool to create the fixture simply click and drag um, and then you know we can edit these vertex points if we want but not in this case so then we'll create a body now a body is kind of it's just it's not an actual thing like the shape is created by the fixture the body just has properties and you associate a fixture to a um, a body so we'll call this floor uh, floor and we want the floor to be static so that it doesn't actually get affected by gravity or move or anything like that and then we'll associate this body to the floor if you're wondering what all these are this is for doing collision filtering so we could add um, I don't know something like enemy um, that adds it to like a global list and then for the particular fixture you can set um, the collision bit mask by selecting and deselecting currently I've just got um, the view for it don't it doesn't actually change anything but anyway so we'll continue um, so we create a floor we can preview it and create a simple floor quite quickly and simply so let's create something a little bit more complicated um, how about we just create a sort of bumpy kind of hill so we use the vertex tool so we just simply click um, the points to make up our hill uh, we don't have to worry about um, making it concave or convex as um, a polygon uh, triangulator will handle that for us so we'll drag that down a little bit lower create um, a body call a wall we also want this to be static and then we'll just associate that with wall uh, to make things a little bit more interesting we should add some dynamic bodies so we we'll use a circle tool just like rectangle tool click and drag uh, whoops don't want that just this one and then we'll go create the body uh, about there and then call it ball associate that let's check out the scene currently as you can see very simple very quick and easy um, and I think quite uh, intuitive so the other thing I needed um, for my game currently is revolute joints. I'm yet to um, need any others, but as I go along, I can easily add them. So I'll show you that uh, working. So we'll create a, a static rectangle. Uh, whoops, I haven't created bodies yet. Uh, let's call it body four. Can't think of a name. Body four. Make sure it's static, and then we'll go and create a another rectangle. 
Now we can um, rotate things by, at the moment I've just got working by holding down a hot key on the keyboard and can easily rotate. I also do have um, a scaling feature though it needs improvement but it's kind of working at the moment so I'm not too bothered by it. Uh, so let's uh, rotate that once more. Um, yeah, that should be good. Then create another body, body 5, associate that. And then to create the joint, it's really simple. You just click the tool uh, and pin it where you think it should go. So about there is good. Um, I mean, if we wanted, we could you know, pin it to the very top hand corner there, but we'll just leave it there for time being. And then choose the body, so it's body 5 and body 4. And in this example, I want to create a motor. And I'm going to set the speed to 100, the max torque to 100, and if I've set everything up correctly, then yes. So then you create sort of a, I don't know, sort of kicking kind of action. But I mean that's very simple to you know create, and if you want to change something, that's also really easy. Um, so yeah, uh, that's currently what I've done so far. Oh, actually, before I forget. Um, currently exports to XML, um, just you know, quite a universal, easy to read uh, way of you know saving the world. And then because I'm using um, created this tool in Adobe Air, um, I'm then importing it uh, to work for uh, Flash. But um, when I, if you know, there's enough interest in this tool, and um, I'd like to you know release it for free and stuff. Uh, I'm happy to, you know, uh, create it in something else. So I was thinking maybe either a web app, and it could be, you know, Flash embedded in a web app, or um, it could be a HTML5 uh, tool, or I could create, release it as, you know, an Adobe Air um, as it currently is. Uh, so yeah, if you um, like it, uh, please let me know. Um, and then, um, I mean, I've cut the other features I've currently got working is um, panning. Uh, I need to create probably a zoom in, zoom out, uh, undo, um, and then you know all the other joint types, uh, as well as maybe importing textures just to create registration points, just to make it a little bit easier, as well as exporting. Um, thinking maybe even exporting to not just the code, but just it will actually spit out there actual code you need for a particular language even maybe um, not just focus on box 2d but like something like uh, uh, nape um, I mean it's pretty similar it perhaps could be also um, used for that but anyway so that's all and uh, thank you for watching